Hello, I'm back with another makeup tutorial. Today's look is this warm brown smoky eye with a pop of cranberry. It's my favourite go-to smoky eye, so if you want to know how to get this look, just keep watching. So to start off with, I'm taking the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion and I'm just applying this all over my lid with a flat synthetic brush. I'm just placing this all over my lid and taking it up to my brow because I will be applying eyeshadow all the way up to my brow today. I'm then going to take my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish Natural in the shade Medium Plus and I'm just going to use this on a fluffy brush just to set that primer potion. I always like to set my primer with the powder just because if I don't, when I do go in with an eyeshadow, I feel like the brush sometimes drags along the eyelid instead of gliding and making the shadows blend evenly. Next, I'm taking this Inglot eyeshadow in the shade 335. It's just a really nice burnt orange shade. And I'm placing this in the crease with my MAC 224. I am going back and forth in the crease and then when I get to the outer corner of my eye I'm going to buff in circular motions. This will just give you that really nice rounded smoky eye as opposed to a cat eye. And as always I'm going in with a very small amount of product on my brush and blending it out before going in with another small amount of product on my brush and blending it out and carrying on until I fill up the intensity that I want. Next, I'm taking the shade Saddle from the MAC Warm Neutrals palette and I'm taking this on a MAC 224 brush. I'm going to place this right in the crease and not blending it up as high as that burnt orange shade. We want to keep it just right in the crease there. So just using the same technique that we was using before of going back and forth in the crease and then using circular motions when we get to the outer corner of the eye. And I guess I'm just stopping to make sure that it is as intense as I want it. Now I'm just taking both those two shades on my Zoeva Luxe Petite Crease brush and I'm just blending those along my lower lash line. I strongly suggest you look in the mirror whilst doing this, otherwise you may poke yourself in the eye. I'm then going in with the shade Coco from Artist of Makeup Cosmetics and I'm taking that on the same 221 brush that we was using before and I'm placing this directly in the crease and using circular motions when we get to the outside. You really want to make sure that you keep this shadow low. It's quite dark so if you take it too high you will look like you've been punched in the face. By the way, this eyeshadow is hands down my most favourite eyeshadow that I own. The colour is so unique, in some lights it's purple, in other lights it's red, in other lights it's brown and the texture is so creamy and buttery it just blends for you, you've hardly got to do any work with it. I just love it and I wish I picked up some more when I was at IMAX.
I'm now taking that same cocoa shade on a MAC 217 and I'm just placing this all over my lid and I'm taking it up to where we place that same cocoa shade in our crease but do not take it any higher you just want to blend it into that cocoa shade in the crease Once you've placed that down, you may need to just soften the edges of it with a tapered blending brush. This one is from Jessup. Now I'm going to go in with a bit of black just to deepen up the outer corner of my eye. And I'm taking this one, it's from Sugar Peel in the shade Bulletproof. And I'm just taking it on the same 221 and just placing that in the outer V of my eye. Black can be a bit of a pain to blend, but just take your time with it. You will get there in the end. And if you need to, just go back in with that cocoa shade just to make everything blend easier for you. To very subtly highlight my brow, I'm just taking the shade Brulee from MAC, it's in the Warm Neutrals palette, and I'm just going to place this on the arch of my brow. Now for that pop of Cranberry, what better shade than the shade Cranberry from MAC, and I'm just going to place that on my lid, but not on the outer part where we place that black, we want to leave that alone. Just place it on the inner corner and the centre of the lid, just with that little pop of cranberry. It's not too intense, but it's there. We can see it. It's nice. To make this look extra smoky, I'm just going to line my waterline with a black eyeliner. This one's from Mali, it's just so creamy and so easy to blend. So I'm just placing that in my waterline and dragging it onto my eyelashes so that I can blend it with a brush. I'm using the Zoeva Luxe Crease Petite Crease Luxe Crease Petite Brush <laughs> to blend that. And um, on that brush, I'm taking a little bit of the Ingle and the Saddle Shade mixed together just to give it that sort of orange glow coming from underneath the black. I'm now going to coat my top and bottom lashes with the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. I really like the wand of this mascara, especially when it comes to applying it on the lower lashes. When I go in with other mascaras, I tend to get some of the mascara on the underneath of my eye. But with this one, because it's so thin and precise, that doesn't happen. I'm then applying my false lashes. These are the Coco Lashes in the South Foxy and I'm really sorry, I don't mean to go on about them, but they are amazing. I wanted to do a fairly nude lip with this look just because the eyes are quite intense. So to do that, I'm just taking Max Pro Longwear Lip Pencil in the shade Nice and Spicy. It's very similar to Spice, but just a little bit lighter. And obviously it's Pro Longwear, so it lasts a bit longer. I do slightly overline my lips just to make them look a little bit more plump, but 
if you guys do want to see it, I may do a separate video on that later. I'm then going to take the shade Stark Naked from Urban Decay. It's just a matte peachy nude. And I'm just using a brush to apply this and I'm just placing that all over my lip and blending it into the liner. And that is the finished look. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more tutorials. Also, I'm not sure what tutorials you guys want to see, so leave any ideas in the comment section down below and I will try my best to film them for you. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.